as you continue to move through the process of identifying the e-business need and um, cultivating the idea related to your e-business project, you may find, and hopefully you will find, that you begin to look at the world not from a user's perspective specifically, um, but from an entrepreneur or a business owner's perspective. And that's why in Lesson 1.7 we cover the concept of following blogs and social media for the purpose of identifying the e-business need. You may already be interacting with and using these tools on a personal level, but now you want to take a look at using these tools for the benefit of your e-business project. And we talk about blogs can be gold mines. And why is that? Well, following a blog can help you understand how a market is evolving or experiencing changes. You're basically letting folks do the work of research for you and you just become a follower. And as they post updates on um, their interest, if that interest is in line with your potential product or service, then you're getting free input or feedback on that particular product or service. Um, bloggers research, they conduct research, and they share their findings. They also report on personal experiences. So it doesn't just have to be a professional blog. Um, some folks have a blog for you know, their personal travels with their family or how they're getting through um, a particular experience in their life. And you may even consider creating your own blog to kind of chart and journal the experience of your e-business project. And this may help um, market your product, market your idea, and you may get some impact um, or some feedback from potential followers that will help you to actually improve your e-business project idea. Personally speaking, I use a blog to help increase traffic to my website because if I have subscribers that are receiving um, my postings to my blog, um, I do a small business blog, then hopefully as the link is connected to my website, they'll be more drawn into um, my products as well. So how can you get connected? Because there are too many blogs to count and it can be overwhelming. Well, you can find specific blogs by using a search engine. And for example, if you go to something like blogspot.com, not only can you create a free blog, but you can also look at categories of blogs. So if you have a specific industry you want to get into, or there's an area of interest that you want to further research to see if there's a need for a product or service, you can go to a blog's website and search on that particular category, and then you can begin to subscribe to various blogs in that category. Okay, now what about social media? You probably use social media already for, um, for personal reasons. Sites such as Facebook can provide another opportunity for entrepreneurs to learn about how products and services are interacting with the market. Again, now you're taking something that you use every day and you're changing how you view it. And so you want to look at what are your peers posting? What are they talking about? Um, sometimes they're talking about something positively, and sometimes there's negative posts about a product or service or an experience, and you can use those posts to help um, develop your need or to identify a need. Another social media resource which can be helpful is Pinterest.com and this is newer to the social media world but it uses visual boards to connect members. This can be very helpful if you're testing a product in the marketplace and you want to kind of get feedback even before you put it um, you know, up for sale or add it to your website. You may post it to Pinterest as this is something I enjoy or something I like and based on the followers or the feedback that may help you to understand hey this is a product that I definitely want to pursue. 